excited. So, where's that pool you were talking about? Pool? Ha <laughs> ha We're at the library. You're so silly. We aren't going swimming. We're going to make a splash at the library and read. That is the summer's reading program theme. Make a splash at your library read. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh man, at least I didn't wear my flippers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in and dive into some books. All right. Hey, Hi, Miss Kim. Kim. Hi, Pat. Hi, Reese. How are you today? Good. Good. Oh, good. We're great. We want to participate in this summer's reading program. You do? Oh, well, all you need to get started is one of these reading logs here. I'll show you. All you do is write down the title of a book every time you read it or every time you hear a story, write the title on the line, and then you get wonderful prizes for the books that you read this summer. Wow. Can you tell Pat all about the prizes we can get for reading good books oh, this yeah. summer? Yeah, I yeah. sure can. Yeah, when you reach level 10, 10 books or 10 stories, you come see us, present this to us, and we'll put your name up on the wall. Wow. Over oh, there? Yeah. And at level 20, you come present your reading log to us again, and we'll give you a make a splash and read at your library certificate and sticker. Cool. Yep. And at level 30, you come bring us your reading log again, and we'll move your name to that wall, and you'll get a temporary tattoo. <gasps> Wow. Miss Kim, I'm going to put mine on my forehead. Forehead? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, okay, before you put your tattoos anywhere, make sure you get permission from your folks. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. And there's more. At level 50, which is the top reading goal this year, you get to pick out your very own book to take home and keep. Wow. And you get a do not disturb, uh, make a splash and read at your library, do not disturb doorknob hanger that you can hang on your rooms at home. I'm going to put one on my door. So what you're saying is we get all those great prizes just for reading good books? That's right. Mm -hmm. Reading wow. good books, listening to good stories, great literacy activities to keep your brain strong this summer. And there's other things that you can write down on here too. What? Like the special performances that we have throughout the summer. On select Thursdays and Fridays, we have special performers come in and do magic shows. <gasps> and storytelling concerts, <gasps> and even puppet shows. Puppet shows! Oh, we love <laughs> puppets! Yeah, I bet you like puppets. So every time you attend one of those programs, you get to write it down here and you get credit for that. It goes towards your prizes. Great! Yeah, and you're just in time for today's show. <gasps> no kidding! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. come on into the story room. Come on in. Once upon a time, a little girl named Genevieve lived with her mother in a little house by the edge of the forest. Every day, her mother would warn her, You may go out to play, my love, but don't go into the forest for the gunny wolf might catch you. One day, her mother went into town to buy food for dinner. Before she left, she said, Now, darling, remember, that forest is dangerous. I don't want you going anywhere near it while I'm gone. I know, Mom. I promise I'll steer clear of the woods. Have fun at the store and don't forget to get the hot cocoa, all right? I love you. Bye. No sooner had her mother left than the little girl noticed some beautiful pink flowers growing on the edge of the forest. Ooh, ooh, I'd love to have just a few of those flowers to place on the table tonight. Mother loves fresh flowers. So Genevieve ran to the edge of the forest and started picking the flowers and singing happily. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a wonderful world it would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a wonderful world it would be. When she looked further into the forest, she noticed some lovely yellow flowers growing a little further in. Oh my, wouldn't those flowers look beautiful with my pink ones? I must have some of them. 
Ooh, but they're in the forest. Oh no, Mother would be so upset if she knew that I went into the forest. What should I do? Well, she won't be home for a while. And I am really fast. I'll just go in and grab a handful and then I'll head out really quick. It won't take me 10 minutes. What could possibly happen in 10 minutes, right? Okay, here goes. Wow, ooh, it's really dark in here. Oh no, ooh, what did I just step in? Yuck, ugh, yuck, ugh. <gasps> what was that? Chill out, Jen. Ugh, you're almost there. Remember, all you have to do is get in, get the flowers, and get out. So be cool. She finally reached the flowers and began to pick. And as she picked the beautiful yellow flowers, she forgot how scared she was and began to sing happily. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a wonderful <laughs> oh, 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 my! Little girl, why for you jump? Me? Um, no, sir, I didn't jump. Then you sing that good and sweet and song for me, no? Oh, okay, all right. Um, eh, well, yeah. If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a wonderful world it would be. Stand, standing, is he asleep? Oh, I'm out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Little girl, <gasps> why for you move? Um, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not moving anymore. Then sing that good and sweet and slong for me, yes? Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course, sure. Um, if all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a wonderful world it would be. Standing outside with my you got to be kidding me. Open wide. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. She ran away again. Oh, go, Jenny, go. Until she came to the edge of the forest. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, he's coming. I think he's until here. she was out of the forest. Hurry. And until she reached her front door. Ugh. When huh. she was safely inside the house, she put her flowers in a vase for her mother and promised herself she would never, ever go into the forest again. And as for the gunny wolf... Oh, uh, I suppose if I want to get any regular sleep, I have to go into town and get my iPod fixed immediately. The children in this area are so unreliable. The, the End, end.